What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are in a completely different room. I posted it in the community tab, letting you guys know that there was going to be no videos going up because I was moving everything around. Um, bigger room, bigger layout, um, which is pretty cool. I'm still figuring out exactly how I want the full layout to be. So things might change in the next couple episodes or videos or whatever. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Today we're going to be jumping into some more Jujutsu Kaisen. Sakuna is awake. He's alive. Taking over Itadori's body for the moment anyways. So I'm assuming things are going to go crazy in this episode. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, we're jumping right in. Let's go. Oh, no. So he's just tearing things apart already. Okay. This song, bro. Oh, I forgot we've got... Yep. Toji versus Megami as well. So he went to turn around. He was already behind him, bro. Yeah, you're going to need to so that you don't die. Yo, we got two crazy fights about to go off at the same time. Bling hairs. Okay, is he already like right there? Oh, okay, so he felt it too. Yo, know, things are going crazy. He's protecting himself because he knows. Oh my god. Megami is in so much danger right now, man. There's got to be a reason why he targeted Megami like over everybody else, right? Because there's Nanami in them were there, but oh my god. Oh, not the rabbit. Not the rabbit. Oh my god. He's not even trying, Megami. The rabbit using like kung fu techniques. Throwing kicks. He's gonna stomp the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I really want to see this dude's training regimen. Because, like, without any cursed energy, how is he this strong? It gives me, like, Itadori vibes. Oh, Panda. Anyway, he's stuck in the fucking door. Okay. He's getting triggered? Yeah, I guess he has a point. Like, everybody's focused on, like, saving Gojo, but what about all of the innocent people in there as well? So, the reason why that they're all focused on Gojo, though, is because he's, like, their best way to save people. Like, if they were able to get Gojo back, he would be able to save a lot more people than the people that are still not sealed. Yep. Behind all the toilets, man. What? This man ain't cleaning nothing. He's afraid. Yep. Yep, because then he doesn't want him to die either. Yeah. yeah I wonder if they're going to get the feeling of Sukuna as well. Oh, who we got? Who are these two? Why are they giving Jesse and James from Pokemon right now? Okay, so there's a decent amount. Those are the two leads. That guy on the left has a really sick character design. Yeah, one to waste time. That guy. Oh. Oh, no, this is making me getting hands again. Oh, my God. This man's just kicking over trucks. He, th he just threw. Oh, my God. Yo, Megami literally clenching the whole time, bro. He clenching the whole time. Okay, you barely missed, man. This is literally... <laughs> this is what, movement? Oh, okay. Yeah, except for now he's gone. They getting in their feels. Oh, to Toji. Okay, is that gonna even do anything? Megami's. You need to get the fuck out of there, still, man. Okay, cause so that he can get healed. Yeah, dude. I don't know about it, bro. I don't. I don't think you got it, man. This dude is insane. He took the fucking blow on purpose. 
He's so fast. Did he realize? Does Toji realize, like, inside of him? He's starting to realize, man. And what technique was that? What the fuck? Yo, Megami gonna get traumatized, bro. He doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. And it, it reverted back. Bro, what the fuck? He doesn't know. Yeah, you can get that healed, though. This motherfucker's still alive? I, I, I would have thought that after the beating that Nanami, Nanami gave this man, he would just bounce. This Dude, he got a death wish. There's no way. There's no way. You're done. You're done, man. What? Who the heck is this? Oh, that's the other group. Okay. Oh, he talked to the girls before they were murdered. So this is a flashback? Who the heck is this guy? So the girls went one way, these two went one way, and then this buff dude went a separate ways as well. The girls are dead. These guys are about to fight Panda. Where's this guy though? Why oh, you look like He-Man? Did he go with them? Or is he also split? Okay, this is fire. A swordsman? Is he also a swordsman? Hello? Oh, is that Sakuna? Oh, they're going to be fighting, just destroying everything. Oh, no. Yo, he's, he's cut his fucking hands off. Okay. Crazy, man. He just keeps ripping his hands off. He's making it look like a game. Just like Gojo did. Eight or nine fingers. He's just making it look like a joke, though. He's just dodging everything, standing in the pit of lava. Yo, they're destroying everything right now. Yeah, Itadori's gonna wake up from this and he's gonna be traumatized, bro. But it's your joke. Oh my god. <laughs> Through the entire building, that is. Oh my god, his fucking jaw. And with the additional trash talk, he's picking him up. Oh no. They need to get the fuck out of there before they get caught up in it. Yep, they need to get the fuck out of there. You making a tornado? Supreme? Supreme art? Yo, he... Is this my end? Ice skating on blacktop. <laughs> Bro, is this man dancing with the stars anime edition? Bro, quick draw. Okay, get the fuck out of there. Oh no, there's no way, dude. No way they kill off Panda, dude. Oh. 
Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> Bro. Somebody's gonna move. He's... Did they make it in time? That you're not even gonna try, yeah. So we saw like Panda and the and the other swordsmen disappear there. I'm hoping they made it in time, but even so, Jogo said that Sukuna shouldn't have been able to make it out. So I'm assuming that they couldn't have either. So I'm assuming they've taken a brunt or a hit. You can use. You can use the fire. He can use his own shit too. Wait, can he copy techniques? That he can copy techniques. They're gonna blast each other. Everything in the air is turning into magma. Yo, that is fucking awesome. The fucking arrow. Oh no. Fuck Mojito. Damn, man. Man's life's flashing before his eyes. That's what he gets for fucking up our boy Nanami, though. Sukuna's shitting on him in his flash as well. We're going to see him get smoked here now. At least he gives him a little bit of respect, but... Damn. Oh my god. Bruh. And there's just buildings coming down. Who the fuck are you? Me Megami, what the fuck? Dude, he fucked him. What? What is happening? What is that ending? What's going after him? Megami's gotta be good still, right? He didn't kill him because he said wake up. So I'm assuming he didn't kill him. But what the fuck is this other thing showing up? <sighs> I feel like it's a door he's gonna wake up and he's just gonna realize like that Sukuna just went a a wall and destroyed all of those like basically a whole chunk of the town like city. And he's gonna have like a mental breakdown. Uh, overall, very good episode, though. I like the animation between the fight between Jogo and Sukuna. Very weird, and I'd, I'm assuming that he's got, like, a copy technique, kind of like Kakashi from Naruto, where he can copy uh, cursed techniques, and he was able to copy Jogo's and use it against him. Um, but, yeah, overall, very good episode. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like on this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.